So you stole Brick's drink for the stream today? I'm Brick Baby today, oh six up. <laughs> yeah. You sound like cuz who? Yeah, oh six up. Uh. For people who don't know, Young Barry Gordy is uh, the co host on No Statements, which airs on Wednesdays. Hmm. However, Brick Baby is trapped in Texas. But I'm here. Can I say one I thing? I got his back fade, Adam. Yeah. Adam, can I say one thing? Tell me. You know, break my nigga, right? Yes. You know, in this short period of time, we went through some shit real quick, right? A whole lot. Trials cool. by fire. Cool. And we. Man. Damn. What? I just, and I just. You don't know if you, how I, far you want to go with it? No, no, no. I'm I'm solid. I'm positive. When I speak, I'm sure. So are you saying Brick Baby's not here today because you what banned him from the platform? This, what is this shit? Adam, is crazy. That's Adam the narrative cool. you're trying to get across right here? This is, this is getting. No, no, no. I, I, Spider Loke, start your stream. Uh, yeah, that's the first news <laughs> story. <laughs> but uh, Shout nah, out I actually talked to Brick ahead of time of, of the call that uh, was. Leaked on the internet. Okay. So I was talking to Brick. I was telling him how much I didn't give a fuck about it, right? <laughs> I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I ain't seen it. Don't want to see it. Whatever, because I know that this shit is get tricky. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but you did see it, right? I just seen it this right, morning. Right, because last night you I were talked on, to Brick all last night. He though. was on the Monday show yesterday, and he talked about how he hadn't seen it. Yeah. And then now I was like thinking in my head. I'm like, well, he's got to see it at some point, right? Yeah. So it's basically a clip of Brick Baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm lost. You're lost? Bro, I've been so busy, uh, hey. Adam. I mean, and I realistically, I not been in my phone. you probably wouldn't know about this unless you followed like certain YouTubers slash paid attention to the No Jumper Reddit, which, by the way, shout out to the Reddit. I ha I'm in the Reddit, but I just literally haven't been in my phone. There was a conversation with Brick Baby on the phone with some Roland Fodies members, I do believe, and... At one point in the conversation, how, he may have. What? How do you know about the conversation? It was, it was recorded and put on the internet. Who? What? Who recorded it? The, <laughs> the other gang members on the other end of the phone call. It sounds oh, yeah. like the law. Oh yeah, so oh yeah, I'm back. So my bad. Department. Like you I just said, space I'm, out. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, but <laughs> man, what? <laughs> I'll let y'all go, okay. but I'm finna tell you what. I guess, okay, there's a moment in it where it's been alleged that Brick Baby said that you were off from an off-brand set. Uh, maybe not in those specific words. Something right? along those lines? Yeah, and I, I mean, that that's, that's kind of mind-blowing, you know what I'm saying? Because it just is because I'm, I'm from some uh, very uh, established organization. You know what I'm saying? So you're saying that Brick Baby has a case of uh, superiority complex because no, actually he might be from one of the most premier wanna, leagues in the in the state. I kind of want to just do it like this and tell Brick. You know what I'm saying? Just certain people wants me to take what he said a certain way, the but, same way people wanted him to take what you said a certain way. Right, 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 right. I mean, you were getting spicy and smoking right. on rival members. But the thing is, yo, I hey, think yo. by him ex <laughs> explaining himself oh, on there, explaining himself in a way he just kind of like broke it down to the homie, wasn't wasn't good. It wasn't a good look at all for Cud. Mm -hmm. Like, it just was, and then it kind of disappointed me a little bit because we just had a, like a little heartfelt you feel me? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hey, you know, I'm rocking with you. At the end of the day, it looked like I'm rocking with you more than a lot of niggas. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, hey, we talking about it. I'm like, hey, I ain't even going to let that bother me. I'm still not bothered because I'm, you know what I'm saying? But it kind of was just disappointing right. to see how he let his conversation, like, go the wrong way. It kind of, he you. said shit that he, he knew, like... You ain't supposed to say that no more. Right. Like, like say at this point where we at. If an, any nigga asks me about brick, I don't even talk bad about it uh, behind his back at this point. Mm -hmm. Like, even when niggas be playing, let me get a. I don't. When the homies do that, I don't like when they play like that. Mm -hmm. Like, cause, cause I'm really so and so and so. I and I felt like that. That's that happens. Like, I'm I'm just a intelligent individual, right? So. Mm -hmm. I know that since they playing it in the chat, they, they say it all over the place. Mm. They DMing me, they DMing Brick about it. Mm. I know for a fact that when they around you, 
They as soon as they see you, they like, ah, yeah, what, 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 and, they, and they want you to yeah. join play. And, and, and play with them. Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how solid I am, yeah, though. Yeah, but yeah, you see how I did him, like, you know what I'm saying? But they, that's how solid I am. I'm, I'm solid behind a nigga back. Straight up. Right? Mm -hmm. One slip up, I don't play. You feel me? You gonna know if I'm playing or if I'm being sarcastic with a nigga because I need that. That's when, I, that's when you gonna know. But I, I just, the way my nigga kind of broke it down, Kind of just took away from 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 him on there. You get what I'm saying? Kind of took away from, and I know him too. Going because our minds aren't too far apart. I know him watching it is like, like check uh, this out though, right? The person who recorded a a, a that's crazy a, too. A, 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 a phone conversation. You are the biggest police officer there. Like you might as well just. Come out with your badge and like, you know, literally, because that's that's crazy, bro. That's the most uh, snitch work that you can do right there. Mm. A, be a behind the scene conversation. Like, so this is like premeditated. Right. The shit is supposed to be, the shit is supposed to be closed. That's when not, I'm talking that's to not my straight. homies, I can talk to my homies. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, when I talk to my homies and, and I'm comfortable and I talk to my homies, literally, I'm not one of them niggas who do all the dissing. So even when I slipped up and did that, I'm kind of like, fuck, cuz that ain't even, yeah. uh, even the niggas I did, did do shit to, I really don't diss. You get what I'm saying? Right. Because I'm I'm really, this shit is, I ain't got to wear it on me all day and say it all day. So the fact that he was like, you know, the, he was like, oh, I, this, he said, oh yeah, I tramped him and woo woo too. I'm like. All right, you ready, for the, you ready for the 22 I gotta, take? I have the, the 22 yeah. still got to weigh in here because this is my area of expertise. So I'm the gangbanger right here. <laughs> right? <laughs> right, but let's get you it. You know some shit. But he just disappointed me I with that. That's what I'm saying. Uh, okay. <laughs> the, what, the, the, the story he gave him or the way he, my bad. This, this is my thing. Brick Baby, I, I can't pass judgment. I just said I'm the expert. I'm not really the expert. I can't pass judgment on what a gang member feels about other gangs. That's none of my business. But... When I saw that clip, and I haven't had a chance to talk to him, so I don't know the exact scenario, but I was a little disappointed that he would say anything that could be considered disrespectful to you to dudes that he realistically clearly shouldn't have trusted enough. You know, in the sense of, like, there's a lot of people that I talk to, mm. and every single word that comes out of my mouth when I talk to them is something that if it was being recorded and was leaked on the Reddit or on YouTube or whatever, I'd be totally fine with that because every single thing I say to them, and this is like 99% of people I deal with in business, mm. every single thing I say to them, I'm assuming it's going to get leaked mm. at some point. Even right. though obviously it's not, but I have no trust for normal fucking people mm. versus I have conversations with you or Brick or, or Remo or whoever that are shit that I don't want to get out there publicly because we all got shit that we're doing in, in right. secrecy or whatever. But Brick Baby, like, definitely should not be trusting people. Like, like just the fact that they ended up leaking the fucking phone call means that he probably should not have been so open there, right? Because now, once again, you got the crowd looking a certain way. You get what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. under, but look, this my thing. The hook and politic about the shit that's going on on the platform here, mm -hmm. but... They they leap it and, and and got it on the whole that's, internet that's platform. Po so that's politics, politics too. So what's the politics? So politics on that? It, it right. should be the same. It should, I didn't it even should think be about same. that. It, it should be the same. It should be the same, bro. I'm just I'm just a, I'm a fair individual. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't I don't look at nothing but what's fair. There's no big eyes. There's it, no little use in me. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So right. So uh, I, I don't, I don't, yeah. my thing is because even with this whole thing, that whole this whole shit is becoming a lot of drama, fake drama, because it's just a lot of like internet shit going on, mm -hmm. mixed with politics. Niggas, politics is not together. Let's get this straight. Like a lot of niggas politics is not together because niggas holler at one person, they be like, all right, cause it's cool, do your thing. And then another nigga be like, cause the hood ain't feeling this. You know what I'm saying? So it's all mixed up. So you have to find the peace in you, cause. There's no more structure. <laughs> yeah, like, and then for the homies, if you, you have to support me, cuz, to have something to say about what I'm doing. Right. <laughs> like, I, I, my hood just finally hit me, Bob, cuz, DW, I want to let you, certain niggas say, I want to let you know we are here, cuz. I see you moving, you know, I move kind of by myself for the most part. Like, when it comes to making my decisions, I move with my brothers and by myself. So, they kind of was like, nigga, come to the table sometime. 
now. We, right. we made a table for you. We wasn't even ready for internet yet. Yeah. <laughs> so now we figuring out how to handle that. So before you just take yourself on there and do some shit like that, holler, and we be like, all right, that's cool. So you don't have problems here too. You know what I'm saying? So, but but brick, I, cause this how thorough I am. Brick, I'm a, I, I, I'm not saying I'm gonna need you to s just stand on your gangster a little more, or your man a little more for uh, for you, for yourself for everything around, cause because I know you don't feel like certain shit that you were saying in there. You you didn't you didn't even want to have to do that, but you was kind of convinced the next nigga something. But you don't have to do that, cause cause real solid niggas understand you when you make a real solid statement, cause. You saying you saying he basically told told the homies what they wanted to hear. Uh, basically, like uh, like you, uh, that's exactly what the fuck I'm saying. Mm -hmm. He told them exactly what they wanted to hear. Like, yeah, cause I disrespected cut too. Basically, like, but cause I didn't disrespect you on purpose, and we know that cause cause we went over it a hundred times. Mm -hmm. Even when a nigga say D W like it's really smooth, I'm like, cause I'm gonna say I'm letting you know what type of nigga I am though. Yeah, you feel me? So and I stand on business behind niggas back. I don't leave here like, oh yeah, fuck them niggas, cuz. Like, yeah, yeah. nigga, I'm like, cuz, cool, I'm gonna come back to, I'm getting. You gotta be, yeah, you gotta be, <laughs> you gotta be home, you gotta be, you gotta just be genuine to the story. Yeah, bro. cuz, and mm -hmm. I, uh, because, and it kind of twisted my mind. I had a long conversation with him before it happened, and I'm faded, so I'm talking, and I'm being genuine. So, even when I seen it though, I, <laughs> it's, it smacked a little different. I'm like, uh, okay, I didn't know you went as far. Like, you, you trying to go bop, 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 but I know he didn't know it was do being think, recorded neither. Do you think? that Josh should give Brick Baby a DP for offending an employee. Oh, uh, shit. Nah. A fellow employee. Oh, no, nah, I think should we pack no. him out. I think we got to put it on Josh. It's a Thunderdome. Uh, yeah, well, just Josh, really. Like, I feel like Josh, maybe Hurley. Mm -hmm. they, they hey, should probably Brick, report to the little jumper. No, no, but let, no. Me, let, let me, let me, uh, let me, let me speak uh, up for Brick on this one. Um, I, like I just said, I know for a fact Everybody been been blowing. First of all, he was tired of the whole situation. Right. This has been like two weeks going on three weeks about the same situation where everybody felt entitled to call in. Every individual feel entitled to call in, in which they got the right. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because it's a situation that happened, and it happened. On, they got the right. So, Brick being a real one, he gave them the floor, you know, to speak. But mm -hmm. guess what? That's that, that's like the fortieth, fiftieth time. That that didn't happen. Now, look, so, he a back dope. Yeah, like <laughs> because yeah, it was it, yeah. That was like watch this. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to you out of that's uh, that's clearly I think them niggas, link, clearly link niggas don't fuck them niggas don't fuck with you. So now, so guess what? So now, Brick is at odds against the hood. The ops, the the, the pub, everybody. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I sometimes feel bad about even putting people on this podcast because sometimes it feels like the amount of like negative attention that somebody like Brick has gotten in a short period of time from just being on here. Now, granted, a lot of it is just because of shit that he said out of his own mouth and shit, but it's like he's in a position where he's got to basically be on camera talking about shit, and it just feels like problems mm -hmm. have kind of like followed him. And even with you to a certain extent, too, it's like you, you haven't even been coming around that long, mm -hmm. and there's already been a whole bunch of controversies that you've been in, which... Mm -hmm. On one on one level, it's a good thing for sure because it's just your name being in the media, people right. talking about you more, and 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 having those conversations and shit. But at the same time, I mean, sometimes it's just kind of shocking how much being a no jumper co host could make everybody fucking want to talk about you so much I mean, more. Yeah, I mean, I, I look at it like this, Adam, and it's like, okay, you've been on tour, I've been on tour, right? And when you're on stage. It's, it's a reason why you're on stage. It's a reason why you have the microphone. It's a reason why your likeness got you there. Mm -hmm. And it's a reason why they're in the crowd cheering. But that's what people are doing is they're trying to be like, oh, so you on you at the table with Adam and all these dudes talking about shit? Mm -hmm. You got to prove it. You mm -hmm. got to like, we got to put you through the fucking mm -hmm. ringer yeah. to figure out if you've really earned the mm -hmm. position to sit there and have opinions. What the fuck? Fuck them. <laughs> My thing is people... A lot of us for all that, the, 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 I'm going to leave the hood shit alone too in a minute because that's not even, a, a lot of the shit is not my image too. Like, you know, but when I get involved, I get lost just how I used to when I was younger. Uh -huh. So when we start talking about it, I'm really in it, you know what I'm saying? But niggas have to, 
No, this is my job. People be like, you representing us. Damn, nigga, I didn't even know I was representing us because it wasn't no us. <laughs> right. So niggas like, DW, could you represent, or Brick, you represent us. Do Brick know that y'all us? You get what I'm saying? Right, exactly. Like, is it, it, y'all supporting cuz before y'all trying to get on cuz? You know what I'm saying? That's that's the only thing. My only niggas can that can get on me, like you know, like nigga, you need to be doing is niggas who 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 support me. Straight up, you see the same people with me every time. You see my brother, right? And my brother, he say one thing, DW cut. Nah, that ain't right. I, I don't. I put up mm. no argument, cuz. Mm. Yeah, like I put up no argument, but I think we need to focus more on what we're doing here and. We should let's politic on here. You get what I'm saying? It's a good thing for all of us. Because a lot of this shit, honestly, like the thing that you said to Brick, as well as the thing that Brick got recorded saying, it's kind of like, like not, I'm not saying normal shit, but it's like regular ass hood shit that mm -hmm. people just haven't really seen play out on podcasts. Right. Because these conversations, like the thing with you mm -hmm. asking Brick for a redacted, it's like, that's nothing if that had just happened in real life but Niggas as soon as you put it on camera it's like every single person who's interested in hood shit gets to dissect oh, right it. even people who ain't even got, yeah, people yeah. not even a part of it do y'all know how that do you know how that even even surface for real how how it really surfaced well they said that somebody turned the audio up on the it had to be because look i said that yeah because look spider Low was just he posted it and it wasn't even for that he posted it because i said his name and i was about to uh. bring up Something that he uh one of his one of his clips. Oh, it was posted for other reasons. It just uh, happened to be yeah, that part. It just happened mm -hmm. that they heard uh, that because the Spider Loke and Wax situation. Exactly. So, so Spider Loke was kind of posting just you know the clip at No Jumper. They talking about this shit, mm. whatever. And then just so happened, I was like, nigga, even me driving home, I'm telling my girl like, oh, no, here we go. Like <laughs> she like maybe nobody. I'm like, uh, you know, I shouldn't even been asking for it there. because you all right. I'm you know what the, the thing about it is that. It's a little bit harder to have conversations about shit that is totally outside of your realm. You know, it's kind of like easy to get attention. Like, notice we got a, a shirtless retard in the thumbnail today because, you know, it's like oh, easy when, when you're doing messy shit. It's kind of easy to get the audience to buy in on it. Right. right Whereas right. the greatest moments that I've had on a lot of podcasts have been just talking about shit that don't have anything to do with us. You know, like the, the, at the times that the podcast has been running full throttle, mm -hmm. we've been able to do clips about all kinds of random shit and people are excited to hear about it. When it's about you or you're making it about shit that has to do with yourself, it's almost like the, the cheat code to getting people to pay attention. But as we mm -hmm. could see with certain people, a.k.a. the male baddies who have broken off from No Jumper in oh, the past shit. year, mm -hmm. I mean, they... You say it, the male baddies. I'm, I'm just That's saying, it's wild. like baddies where they ain't got nothing to talk about <laughs> unless male they're baddies beefing. Is crazy. And as soon as they stop beefing, the, the, the views go way down. It's like they have right. to beef because they have no substance. I think we're better than that. Right, right. But at the same time, when there's business to be handled, we got to handle the business. Okay. But we're not the baddies. That's all I'm saying. It's like we're not. We don't have to resort to that shit. This is not Zeus. We we're better than that. So it's like we. I, I feel like we need to almost like refocus the pod for like next week and be like, okay, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna talk about, and it's not gonna be the messy ass shit. Although I am dropping the big deal interview tomorrow, so it'll definitely probably be a whole lot of messy shit. Hmm. To talk about. That's yeah. That's crazy. Uh, uh, one more and one more thing on that. Right. This is this like I said, break. Cause I think he should do more f focus on yourself, cause and, and and kind of box all that shit out. This shit is built. You have to have a strong mind, cause mm. to even really survive at life, cause you feel me. So even like when he was like, oh yeah, cause we, I would have did this if I would have did this, or me and because said me and Gordy would have jumped, cause I'm like, uh, bro, <laughs> we had a whole conversation where I told you, cause if you would have slipped up, I would have been, I still wouldn't have fired on cut. Mm. <laughs> no matter what, if Brick would have slipped up and said anything to me and went like, oh my bad, dog. I'm t I would not have fired. I'm not going to fake Man, for nobody. Right. Because, all right, last thing about that topic, because I'm sure that there's a big chunk of the audience that is super fucking sick of hearing about NAP gate. Okay. But basically, like, there's uh, this this reaction channel out there that does videos about No Jumper, right? And they were interviewing a young rapper, Young Threat from Hoover, last night. And Young Threat said, and I, I don't really, like, think that he actually believes what he said, but he said that after you said what you said to Brick, that you guys should have had to fight right then before you could get over it and be cool. 
Because, I'm uh, like, I don't really think this that niggas is, really think hey, that. Niggas too gangster, the, bro. This is not the county jail, man. <laughs> niggas too gangster for me because uh, this ain't the county, bro. Yeah. Even even in the county jail, I've been with niggas. If you my nigga in the county jail, bro, it's gonna be the same way because we niggas. We and, uh, we spread and, together, eat together, we working together. Niggas is supposed to push the total opposite thing. Mm. Niggas supposed to be like, oh, I like the way y'all did that. Y'all kept moving. Keep cut. Don't even let that bother y'all. Y'all keep moving past that. That's what real. That's what your real people do. Not because you should have. Come on, cut. And, and, and for example, for example, you you being a homie from the other side. Mm. If if I was to see you, I would bang your hood, like, right, baby, right, right. What's that's up. Bro? What, 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 you know what I'm saying? Because we that's because like, we boys, right? You know so, what I'm saying? So it's it's a level of understanding and respect. You get what I'm saying? Amongst us, and amongst us in the relationship that we built, mm. you know what I'm saying? No matter if it was in the county jail, no matter if it was clubhouse, no mm. matter if it was whatever the case is. Right. Even on clubhouse, they'd be like, oh, excuse, excuse me, bro, my bad. I ain't, yes. I, I didn't even know you was in here, or I ain't even, it's, they'd be like, I ain't even tripping. What's it's up? It's just the fact of the matter that, that it had to happen on the platform, and mm. everybody had a, had a chance to have the, uh, uh, um, Something to say about it, yeah. And then at the end of the day, niggas be like, bro, niggas be it. like moving, rolling this. Nigga, I, I, nigga, this crib. Uh, <laughs> oh, my, this is, my last thing about that is that I feel like everybody is just picking sides and being being choosy about this shit because all those people who said that break should have got off on you right there, they should also right be saying that you need to get off on break. For saying what he said on the phone mm. to the other dude, right? And now, what's but nobody's so saying that, right? Because nah, everybody, I, I feel like Brick is just like a target because he's already he was already like pre previously messy slash like certain people that he's connected to that people want to get on him or whatever. But it just feels like he gets an unnecessary amount of shit from people who want to make content and stir shit up that I don't think that they necessarily are holding other people to that same standard. So these, so the, these people that that made that call. These are people that was trying to get content for their own channel because they want to be media personalities. Exactly. Yeah. Right. But the thing is, too, okay, now for those who want to be media personalities, you wouldn't be built for this because you couldn't handle the same situation one that day, went man. on. Not you would have blew day. the job off top. Like So, so niggas got to uh, be real, champ, and put your... Fuck all that. Let's move on. Man. Let's move yeah. on. Yeah, for sure. That's why I don't even uh, discuss, discuss the uh, other gang politics. I'm, I'll be done with that shit. You like to leave that shit alone? Straight up.